Hi, I'm Alex with Santiago Photography. Uh, I'm creating this video blog to show you the methods that I take to uh, achieve the look that I have. Um, for this particular picture, um, I'm going for an illustrated surreal look, um, and I show you the steps to take uh, working within Lightroom 5, Photoshop CC, and Nick 4 software. So here we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make our photo look like an illustration like this. And one of the first things I do is I open in Photoshop, which you can do in Lightroom. And I crop the picture. First, I, of course, I create a, uh, the main layer. Then I create a second layer. I crop to fit. Um, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and run an ultra smooth action that I downloaded from the internet. It makes uh, you know, doing the editing a lot faster. And what this does, and I'll show you in a minute, um, it helps really soften that skin up because in the later portion of this video, I'm gonna bring all that detail back and the last thing you wanna see is too much detail in the skin. Uh, so what I do is I really soften it up at this point. I just make sure I get all the areas, neck, all the skin that's showing. Just like that. And then I'm going to lighten up the eyes, they're a little dark. Like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and open up in Color Effects Pro 4. Also, again, in the Nick 4 software, as you can see, you can open that within Photoshop. I'm going to use one of the recipes that I created a while ago, but I'm going to add the detail because I want to really bring up that detail. I'll save that. That will save it and as a new layer in Photoshop. I'll bring back the layer, create another one, and then I want to replace the color because I didn't like the yellow hue in the background. And I'll show you the difference. There's a difference. From there, I'm just going to go ahead and save. This will, again, import this saved photo into Lightroom, which I'm going to go ahead and do uh, some extra editing through there. Bump up the clarity bump up the sharpness, and then I'm going to denoise everything, which makes it look more like an illustration, really softens it up. And then I'm just gonna do a, a halo effect around her uh, to really brighten the bottom half so your focus is really on her face. Uh, so I'll do that on both sides. And I see that the shadows on her face are a little bit too dark, so I'm gonna lighten those up a little. That looks about right. And here we have the finished product using Lightroom 5, Photoshop CC, and Nick 4 software. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.